Hi guys, this is Lost Worm and you're watching The Worm's Turn. This is my third play session um, of Thronebreaker Witcher Tales. It, the way I'm posting the videos is I'm posting them in an approximately half hour increments. However, I will play the game from anywhere from an hour to six hours at a time, so I'm not going to have an introduction every time and my sessions, my sessions don't necessarily line up with the um, episode of the gameplay uh, that I'm at. So, um, part of my upload process has been, <clears throat> um, I was hoping not to have to do editing, but I started swearing. I realized I have a bit of a potty mouth, so I do have to do a little bit of editing. Additionally, sometimes I sit there and I think for a very long time without really doing anything, and that's boring, so I've been cutting um, that out while I've been going as well. I have about um, five and a half hours more of backlog, so it's going to be, you guys are going to probably see some of this even before uh, you hear me talking about it. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, so after I've edited the video, taken out the um, dead parts and taken out the dead parts and censored myself, I'll just try to control my... Um, my swearing this time around and uh, try to fill in that space make decisions more quickly as well just gonna hold on a sec while I uh, talk to these guys your grace Meave heard Raynard call out from behind her a scout's returned claims to bear an urgent message the Queen halted her horse and waited for the soldier to reach her he abandoned all formalities and jumped straight to the point my lady a black clad caravan armed to the hilt rides this way to believe the rumors they're hauling a lord of war loot back south. Raynard gave the soldier new orders, then turned to Meave. Hmm. Sounds like a prime opportunity to replenish our coffers. Indeed. An opportunity we cannot ignore. The Queen said. Your unit will block their path. Gascon and his men will hide in the woods and strike their flanks, while I shut the trap, attacking from behind. Their plan established, Meave gave the signal to move out. A brief moment later, the fight began. <clears throat> Upon realizing they could not avoid a fight, the Nilfgaardians stopped their wagons. Not all of them, however, took to defensive formations. One soldier remained with each cart. They stood with backs to their attacker, their eyes trained on the cargo. What mysteries hid in these wagons? What treasure so precious to abandon self-defense in the midst of battle? Hint, expose a trap. All right. I've also noticed I'm prone to uh, lots of misinterpretations and misunderstandings when I'm reading the cards. I'll try to improve on that. I think it'll get easier as I have a better understanding of the game, um, which is typical. So I don't think I'm going to be facing any squares health, so I'm getting rid of her. Stray Slingers are pretty nice, especially in conjunction with... Uh, I don't have them. Oh, we'll see. Okay, Cavalry, they're okay. These Alchemists are good in conjunction with Lear and Scytheman, basically it boosts the Scytheman so much. Uh, medics, I generally like. Let's see, I'm gonna keep Decoy. Um, and I'm gonna keep this because it's good in conjunction with the Alchemist. So let's just get rid of this Cavalry. I got it. Ache. It's uh, no oh, bombers. I like bombers. Um, uh, yeah. We must drive them into the ambush. Follow me. Whenever this unit takes damage, move it one position to the right. Meave loses battle if it dies. They're immobile, immobile, immobile. Trigger an ambush when you move a caravan next to this card. Okay, so we need to move it to the right. See, I already messed up. I think because I chose the wrong card selection for <laughs> this battle. Um, do I have a time limit? No. Okay. I only have one round. I shouldn't have taken the medic. My bad. Well, here, this will help. Set the roll on. Catch! 
And what's my ability right now? Boost an ally by four and give it one armor, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Sure. Wise choice. Damage any by two whenever an ally appears, gain one charge. I'll just put him on there. The unworthy shall be punished. Whenever an ally takes damage, trade itself by one. Oh yes, three different styles. Oh, I didn't realize that. What's the same way? Does he switch? How does this work? Hmm. Oh, okay. If battling monsters, you have fury. If you have a Manticore trophy on the battlefield, he's divine inspiration. Whenever an ally takes damage, takes itself by two. But he doesn't have the deploy ability. So probably if he's got monsters and... Oh, okay, this is neat. get lucky here. <clears throat> I have to... Well, does he move backwards? It doesn't look like it moved backwards. Hi. when you have a caravan next to this card. So... I think I'll just wait. Um... Ah! Should've listened to me, old lady. We're close, Your Grace. Guys, doing? Can you get me? Life is mine now. All right. Aches, hurting. He's hurting. Um. You know what? Have any more? I'll just use my field medic to get him back. So I'm gonna use my decoy actually to get this guy back. I smell a leak. Go. Move in, eat Jest. Prepare to fight if you've any honor. <sighs> yeah, that'd be good. Ah! Some ability to solve by two. Sure took your time. Thought you'd forgotten about me. Now! Oh! Off to the front yet again. <laughs> Am I gonna kill my own infiltrators? Sweet. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I got a bunch of reinforcements. And Gascon. 
Um, <laughs> streaks up whenever one ally or a card is removed. Okay. Here. somebody. Actually, I'm going to boost this guy. with my fire. These guys are really obnoxious, killing my units. The better I can get this guy better my alchemist would be. Off to the front yet again. Okay. Uh oh, should delay the alchemist as long as possible. So let's boost him. Fine, it'll make up for itself. Okay. Put Gascon on the field. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Whoops, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Anyone asks, you've not seen me. Uh, set. Uh, I have misinterpreted the alchemist again. Set a unit's power equal to the unit also. Okay, well, that messed me up. That's fine. I'll still win. There's been a mistake. <clears throat> I'm no mage. Hours, milady. Look, I did it again. I misread the, I misinterpreted or misread the card rules. Maybe I just must remember that time. Their plan ended in success. The Nilfgaardians crushed. As soon as the dust had settled, Neve tore the canvas off the nearby wagons to see what precious loot they had so carefully guarded. She expected to find gold, jewels, or exquisite silks. Instead, she saw dirty, terrified figures bound in chains. Slaves, Reynard muttered. Their precious cargo. Slaves. Behold the glorious future the Empire brings us. 
Meave ordered the prisoners freed and discovered they were Adernian peasants on their way to dig canals and dredge swamps as forced laborers. You are free. You can return to your homes, the Queen said. If she expected words of thanks and gratitude, she was in for a disappointment. What homes, my lady? asked one of the peasants, holding back tears. Took our land, they did. Nothing we have now. Not a rag to wear, not a crumb to eat. Leave us, we die. Soldiers don't do us in, monsters will. Us human hunger and cold don't get us first. The Queen was about to answer when she heard Gascon, standing behind her, whisper, Before you make any rash promises, please, some maths. Dozens of hungry mouths to feed, and weak bodies to defend, twice as many tired legs, while war rages all around. You do realize you cannot save everyone. Well, <clears throat> I think we can handle it. I attacked this caravan hoping to fill my coffers, the Queen said. Instead, I have only secured a new drain upon them, but very well. In these ill times, we northerners must help our own. Women and children in the wagons, the men shall march alongside to the rear. I warn you, if you cannot keep pace, we shall leave you by the roadside. Move out! The Queen's gaze momentarily caught the eyes of an old woman her soldiers were helping onto a wagon. Tears of gratitude poured down her soot-stained face, across hard lines left by years of destructive toil. Meave was convinced she had done the right thing. Ah, uh, I wonder if it might have been... It would have been interesting if this game had some elements uh, for Banner Saga, where your food is actually a resource, and um, your caravan will... As it grows, your food will be depleted more quickly. All right, what was I saying before the battle started? Let's talk about my upload process, All right? So, once I have edited the video, I'm uploading them on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, is what I figured out, so far anyway. And um, when I post them to YouTube, I post them so that well, I watched them again. Hey, it's so it's so time consuming. Uh, I just kind of skim through it, and I add timestamps to describe kind of what's going on at various parts of the video, so that people don't have to. So, for example, if they don't want to watch me walking around the map rambling, they could just go to the portion to the next battle. Uh, So, yeah, if you watch these videos, be sure to check out the descriptions because they uh, <clears throat> help you get to the parts you want to watch. I can't remember what I was doing here. I think I was increasing my command cap, or recruit cap, yeah, so 5,000, 1,000. There is something, some sort of, uh, there, let's see that one, 2,500. Okay, I'll get this first. And then I will go for the soldiers' quarters at 5,000, 1,000. Um, something new in the royal tent. Oh, this is where I read reports and letters. Nilfgaardian letter. Translation from Nilfgaardian to Senior Censor Berwin Ape Klanag. From Sergeant Dylan N. Allery. As ordered, I have acquired 30 live live Nordlings. A Dirnian Providence break down as follows 13 males, 7 females, 5 elders, 5 children. <coughs> Suitability of elders for labor will be determined at camp. If the verdict is negative, they shall be removed from the convoy. Long live the Emperor. Um... What else? Well, that's it for now. I'll just do this event. See if I can think of anything. As Meave neared Gatberg, her eyes were drawn at once to the black pennants flying over its palisades. Nilfgaard's penance. Her scouts found the city's buildings intact, its streets unstained by blood. Black-clad soldiers could be seen guarding storehouses holding loot pillaged from nearby settlements. Curiously, these soldiers were very few in number. The gates stand open. Clearly the Imperials expect no attack, giving us the element of surprise. 
We can take back the city and... And make off with the gold. Gascon, finished. <clears throat> Neve hated Nilfgaard and needed gold to maintain her army. Two very good reasons to attack Gatburn. Her decision made, she ordered her men to prepare for battle. I think it's an ambush. Now the invaders would have to try their hand at defending. Larvet! Essay to nothing! Uh, yeah, I think it's an ambush. My voices! I love making them, but sometimes they're horrible, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll get better at that. We'll see. Uh, the queen had feared her soldiers would not court death for the sake of Nadirnian city. After all, why risk one's neck for a neighbor's home when you have yet to reclaim your own? Nonetheless, Meave's infantry fought ferociously, never breaking. In the face of Nilfgaard's onslaught, the trifling differences among Lyrians, Temerians, and Kidwanis no longer mattered. Ultimately, they were people of the north, and they must answer each other's call. Hint, attack weaker units. Thank you, sir, for that helpful hint. Only one round, so. Medic's not quite as useful. Um, Okay, the slingers are useful now because I've got Gascon. I don't have any alchemists yet, so let's get rid of this guy. Um, I still think. Well, no, let's get rid of this guy. Field medic, Black Vela, Squaytel. I don't think she's gonna be useful. All right. Well, I'm going to keep one um, of my Scythemen. I'm going to keep that. My decoy, is that going to be super helpful? Not in the current situation. They feel All at right. home here, the Nilf Guardians. Let's show them they're wrong. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this guy on the battlefield right away because I don't think I have any other loyal units. I. Hundred and fifty-two, hundred and fifty-four. This is really strengthen all allies by one. Guy on it as duty as again? Oh, God. No dude. signs of fighting. These horses must have opened the gates for the black lads. Um, he'll do the most damage the earlier he gets on. Placing guys in. Now I wish I had that decoy. Well, I could control where they go. So, you know what? I'll just do this. Watch your heads! <laughs> Wait till I have three guys on the field. <clears throat> uh, well, hopefully three guys on the front before I start moving guys around my slingers. Prepare to fight if you've any honor. So I can try to push them all back Wise to the choice. fire. Yeah. No. Thing about slings, they hide well. <laughs> I 
Oh, they have three guys. Uh, in that case, no, it's not my thing. <clears throat> um, hmm. They have three guys. This would boost him up. It's still not worth it. And then, all right. Now I guess go on. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Whoa, Son! what the heck is that? Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's not killing us. It's not too big a video. Ah, uh, whoops. Should have listened to this guy. Of course, I you wish my son. Boss, so I can't target him. How much damage does he do? Two. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Storm, knock out one of you'd see. <clears throat> Off to the front yet again. Quiet! Oh, the commissar will hear. The battle's won, Your Majesty. The Battle of Gatberg ended in Meave's victory much to its inhabitants' displeasure. While she examined the Nilfgaardian storehouses, the city's mayor, an elderly gentleman with a walrus moustache, requested a private audience. Your Grace, I am old. Kill me, you'll merely save my gout the trouble. So I'll be frank, you put few men. You'll not spare a one to defend the city. When you ride off, the Imperials will retake Gatberg, peer into their looted storehouses and seek revenge. You will be far off Well, we shall be oh so terribly near. The old man creaked down onto his knees and gripped the hem of the queen's coat with knobby fingers. Your majesty, I beg you, leave the gold. Or the streets of Gatberg will flow with the blood of our women and children. Meave contemplated what to make of the fellow. Should he be praised for his forethought and concern for his townsmen? Or condemned for cowardice and insolence? Black Railer, however, had no such doubts. Traitors all. Small wonder the town's untouched wide for the southern scum. Now they want us to let them fill their pockets with plundered gold. Ah. Uh. Hmm. You guys, I'm taking it. 
After a moment's hesitation, Meave had her soldiers load the stolen gold onto their wagons. As you pointed out, Mayor, my army is small, which is why I need gold to expand it. The Mayor said nothing. He bowed to the Queen heavily on his cane, as if this short exchange had cost him years of life. Okay. We haven't any reason to rejoice, friend. Black clads will be back. Just you wait and see. Grim. Grim prospect. They'll either hack us into pieces, or drag us off to labor in chains. Grim. Grim prospect. 